Year, everybody. Welcome to Revive Kids Online. I'm so glad you could join us. I hope you have had a wonderful holiday and a happy new year. You know, people love to party. Everybody just loves to have a party. Hey, we can have parties for birthdays and graduations and Halloween and whatever. But the biggest party always comes right after the biggest holiday, Christmas. And that is New Year's. New Year's is a great big party that everyone has balloons and watches the ball drop on the TV. And they get to stay up past midnight. Isn't that always so fun? But whatever the reason, on January 2nd, things go right back to the way they were. And then you have to go to school and to work or online school and online work and all the regular things you have to do. But I've got good news for you. For those who love to celebrate, life doesn't have to be that way. We can celebrate every day. Hey, we should celebrate every day. Do you know why? Because God loves us so much. That's a wonderful way, reason to celebrate. Well, maybe not with balloons and streamers and noisemakers and music. Well, but you can have music. But all you need is a grateful heart. The kind of heart that David had when God inspired him to write this song. Praise God in his temple. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for all his greatness. Praise him with trumpets and horns. Praise him with harps and lyres. Praise him with tambourines and dancing. Praise him with string instruments and flutes. Praise him with loud symbols. Praise him with crashing sim loud symbols. Praise him with crashing symbols. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord! Boys and girls, that is the most beautiful praise song. And our power verse today comes from Psalm 150, verse 6. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, can you say it with me? Okay. Everybody stand up and say Psalm 150, verse 6. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Why do we praise God? Because God has done so much. He has given us so many gifts. He has not forgotten one thing about you or me and his plan for our lives. But most of all, he has given us his son, Jesus. And we celebrated his birth at Christmas. And come Easter, we will celebrate his death and resurrection that gives us new life. We can praise God all day long. And here's a little bit more about David, who wrote that song and prayers in the book of Psalms.
Hey, boys and girls, it is easy to praise God in church. Hmm. But we can all stand up right now wherever we're at and praise God. So get up and let's celebrate together. Hey, this song can use your freestyle or you can follow the moves, whatever you want. But celebrate today. celebrate God in church, but we can praise Him wherever we are. We can praise Him while we're doing our work and cleaning. Hey, cleaning your room, you can put on the praise music and enjoy praising God and celebrating Him for all that He's done. And we can even praise Him while we're at our desk or in the ball field, while we're waiting for the teacher to call on us. All we have to do is take that moment in our thoughts Praise God. Bad day, good day, we can remember that in the bad times, God is always there. Jesus will never leave us. And on the good days, well, we have to remember when things are good, to remember to thank God for all that he gives us. So whether we're feeling down or we're feeling awesome that day, we can praise God. The God who gives us so much. We can celebrate him all year long. Well, boys and girls, I hope you remember to celebrate God today and tomorrow as 
we continue with Revive Kids. And we'll see you next week on Revive Kids Online.